In this problem, we're told it requires 49 joules of work to stretch an ideal very light spring from a length of 1.4 meters to a length of 2.9 meters. What is the value of the spring constant of this spring? So in this problem, what we're going to be doing is solving for k. And so keep in mind the units are newton per meter. So we need to solve for k. And let's keep in mind what we're given. So we're given x1, which is basically 1.4 meters, which is like the initial length. And then x2, which is basically the final length, right, 2.9 meters. And we're also given the work. So we know the work is going to be equal to 49 joules. And so we're trying to solve for k. And so the way we're going to do this is by using um, a few formulas. But basically, the main idea is that you need to know the work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. And the formula for kinetic energy is 1 half kx squared. So I think the easiest way seeing how to solve this is just by going through it. So the work equals the change in kinetic energy. So basically, k final minus k initial. So we're just going to rewrite the formula. So imagine this is the final kinetic energy. I'm just going to say x2. So 2 is going to mean final, basically. And then you minus the initial. So final minus initial is equal to the change, and the change is equal to the work. So 1 half kx initial squared. So we know the work, which is 49. We know x2 and we know x1, meaning k is going to be the only thing that's left. So we can just go ahead and solve for it. So plugging it in, k, uh, the work is 49 equals 1 half k. x2 is going to be 2.9 squared minus 1 half k, 1.4 squared. So what you can do is factor out the 1 half k. So 1 half k, and then you're going to 2.9 squared minus 1.4 squared. And so if we want to solve for k, we can multiply both sides by 2. So multiply both sides by 2, and then we're going to divide by this right here. So 2.9 squared minus 1.4 squared. So just keep in mind I'm doing that over there. And so you're going to get the k is going to be equal to 2 times 49. So this is just 98. And you divide by 2.9 squared minus 1.4 squared. And yeah, so go ahead and plug this in. So 98 divided by, it's going to be 2.9 squared and then minus 1 point four squared and so when you go ahead and do this you're gonna find that it equals about 15 so k equals 15.1 but yeah so this is basically just about 15 you're just gonna round and so Newton per meter but yeah so 15 and if you look here choice D is gonna be your answer so yeah your answer to this problem is D and hopefully you found this useful